Oh, hello, house guests. Are you back again <laughs> for another train wreck? Well, today the house guest of this train wreck day is Linda Ford. Congratulations, Linda. We really appreciate you. Thank you so much for the support. If you would like to be house guests of the day, check out our Patreon link in the info box below. So, let's have a little recap. Yesterday, Dane used the power of veto to save himself, and Sam was the replacement nominee. Uh-oh, hot dog. House is blowing up. So first of all, let me just say what a dick Adam was for telling Sam, you know, I don't know, maybe Dane might keep you. Really? Is that how it's going to be? She's on the block against Dane's girlfriend. She don't have a chance to get Dane's vote. There's no way in hell. And by girlfriend, I mean girl pal. They are not laying together like you and Sam are. All right, so Mark and Anthony are chatting. And Anthony is calling Adam a crybaby. He cry for Sam. He'll cry when Sam's evicted. <laughs> he, Anthony just hates the fact that Adam is in this showman's with Sam. He's so jealous. It's it's obvious that he's jealous. It's not just that for the game. I really feel like in real life he does he's like in the He-Man Woman Haters Club. So then he he continues by throwing Sam under the bus to Mark saying uh she wanted you out last week. You were the first name she said when she got into that HOH room. She called you a floater. Now we know he just sucks. <laughs> He's been trying, but he just sucks. Um, but don't uh, get angry. Don't get aggressive around Adam because you're just going to make him cry. Oh, <laughs> it was so funny to see freaking Mark fired up too, because usually Mark is he doesn't get angry. He's just like so lukewarm. And then to see him all like, oh, what a jerk. You know, it was fun. So the icing on the cake, the mic drop, if you will, was when Anthony said Dane and Adam were behind backdooring Corey scandal. And Sam was there too. <laughs> All right, so Kier and Sam were outside, you know, in the outside area. And... Kira was worried about getting jury votes. So Sam said, no problem. If I'm on the jury, I'll get everybody to vote for you. <laughs> okay. Kira said, are you going to blow up? Or should I say, are you going to blow up anyone's game in your speech? <laughs> Sam said, <laughs> Sam in her equally gruff voice, um, no, I wouldn't, I, I don't want to be nasty, but I'll call out Esty for riding Dane's coattails. Wow, that's so cold. Let the boys slide by, but then you pick on the freaking girls. That's why they, that's why we can't have nice things. That's why we can't have a girls alliance, because girls don't play nice together, and I don't know why. So she wants to say that she feels like she's already won. I'm assuming by laying with Adam. That let's see how you feel in a little bit. All right. So they also talk about who Kira would put up if they were to win HOH. Who cares? It's never happening. <laughs> Unless it's a creepy cuddle tickle contest. They are not winning the HOH. But if you're interested, they would put up Corey and Dane. I think at one point, too, they said um, Adam and Dane, to which Sam squealed about. She was like, oh! All right, so Adam and Dane have a chat. They want to take Kira to the end. Uh, not Corey, because Anthony wants Corey. Adam wants to know on Wednesday. Um... <laughs> Are you guys going to keep Sam or what? Because if you're not, I don't want to waste our last day together. we got to get in all the sexy time we can. 
Um, they don't want to waste any time campaigning if it's not going to happen. So Adam and Dane say, yeah, we're going to grow up. We're going to go to the final two together, right? Sure you are. But if for some reason it doesn't happen, lol, as a joke, uh, they promise to vote for each other. So good for you, boys. So today... Anthony's telling Mark, Adam's piece of crap, he fought for Chelsea to stay harder than he fought for you, and you're a bro. Anthony got pissed off by that. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. So Adam to Dane says, Corey and Anthony hang out all day, it's disgusting, they're chasing each other around. Nobody likes the other's side pieces. It's so funny. The not-so-shocking reveal was Dane actually heard Adam and Sam laying together. And apparently there was some swaggy C-type drama where uh, Sam might have had an accidental pregnancy. But don't worry, kids. She got her period. It's all cool. So Mark, Anthony, and Dane are holding a Sam Sucks party. Everybody pull your pants up above your belly button. We're having a Sam Sucks party. So here's the highlights from the party. She's an effing B. The only reason she's there is because of Adam. <laughs> now, guess who said most of these things? Dane. Uh, she said she was going to get rid of Adam to Corey. We never should have let her get that far. And then uh, they say, going forward, who are we going to nominate next week? So Mark chimes in and says, I'd nominate Adam and Esty. Oh, hi, Adam. <laughs> I guess you didn't hear, but uh, Adam says, Hey, guys, we want to put up on the final five. You know, who, who are we going to uh, go to the final five with? Obviously, four peens and then somebody else. So Anthony chimes in, not Sam. And everyone agrees that Kira would be the best choice, followed by Esty. So Dane leaves, and Adam says, Hey guys, keep Sam. <laughs> uh, so we can stay safe in the triple. That's the only way, like, none of us guys will go up. Um... Okay, they uh, disagree. Everybody knows they want to take their side pieces in the final five. Everyone's pushing for their side pieces. Adam wants to keep Sam. Dane wants to keep Esty. Anthony wants to keep Corey. Anthony says, boys, wake up. The Peanut Butter Boys is a legacy. It is a legacy for all time, for seven seasons of Big Brother Canada. Uh, the only fair chance for the peanut butter boys in the final five is to take Kira because nobody likes her. <laughs> nobody has like a thing with, I'm sorry, with them. I didn't mean to be disrespectful. All right, so apparently Sam and Adam had a little tiff and it was all about the Corey backdoor scandal from last week. Sam, didn't, Sam is saying that she didn't tell Corey anything that Corey didn't already know and uh, that's probably mostly true and she also thinks it that Adam sucks for letting her take all the heat from this whole thing that's why she's being backdoored when it wasn't her that came up originally with the backdoor plan it was Dane and Adam all right. I, I think I remember that she only agreed. I mean, she said that she would backdoor Corey because she wanted Adam to use the veto. But she did, wasn't really planning that. Because that's when she suspected about the boys' alliance. And then, like, her pot brain took over and she forgot about it. Is that what we're going with? Is that her story and we're sticking to it? So, Adam, Sam, and Kira. Anthony and Corey have a thing. Sam says, I think she's crushing on him. Sorry, Corey's husband. Um, 
and Anthony, they all agree that he's playing everyone in the house. So why don't you do anything about it? Come on. This is not that hard. This is not a uh, big Einstein. This is big brother. So Kira disagrees. They like Anthony. They don't trust Corey though. Boy, you do not know what you're doing, do you? All right, so this is exciting, or is it? Adam found the red folder on the floor in the archives hallway. Whoa. Is it anything? The feed's cut. I was way too lazy slash busy to <laughs> look this clip up, but if you guys have any info on that, let me know. Was it a task? Was it a mistake? Was it a joke? I don't know. Let me know. So Corey tells Dane that she was that girl standing outside the door and she overheard Kira, Sam, and Adam saying, we got to stick together. Oh. Uh, so Dane takes that into his vest pocket for later and says, um, if any of the peens win or SD, don't worry, Corey, uh, you're safe next week. I know you can't play, so don't worry about it. So then Adam and Sam have a chat. And Sam and Kira saw one of the screens change in Leon's lounge. And Adam wants to use that to F with everybody else. It was probably a mistake or maybe it's for an upcoming task or maybe somebody's computer just rebooted. Who the heck knows? So uh, he wants to F with people, especially Mark, because Mark will probably freak out. So Adam wants to know, this is very important information. Obviously, uh, when Sam is evicted, she's going to talk to Arissa. Is she going to say that she's in love with Adam? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. So Dane and Esty are having a uh, chat. I guess they were um, also studying. And he asked her, have you started campaigning yet? And she was like, kind of. You know what? Just don't, don't campaign. Don't campaign. It'll be fine. Don't waste your time. So uh, Kira and Anthony got into a heated discussion. That just happened uh, this afternoon. He wanted to know what's up with the Girls Alliance. And there was no Girls Alliance. That's what Kira said. No Girls Alliance. And that's semi-true. Uh, what's up with the Guys Alliance? And he's like, you know, are we not allowed to talk to people in the storage room, in the HOH room, in the... Meaning, you know, just because we're talking doesn't mean that there's an alliance, although there is, but I guess he was trying to throw them off the scent, but it got quite heated, and he was very intimidating to Kira, and Kira hates him now. <laughs> you mean she didn't before? Well, I guess she said... I guess they said they trusted him, so I don't know. If I was in the house with somebody like Anthony who just kept droning on and on all the time, I don't think I would like them from the get-go, but I guess when you are stuck with these people, you kind of have to like try to like them, but that would just get to me. I would just be like, I need to be on the opposite side of the house from you because I just can't. It's too much talking. It's too much as I finish talking. <laughs> um, that's where we're going to leave it off. There's still two more days of stupidity before the eviction. Is Sam going to think she's going to flip the vote and then be disappointed? Or is she just going to be like, you know what? I'm going to stick a fork in this because I'm done. I'm just going to have a good time. So we'll see what happens tomorrow, and I want to thank you guys for watching. You're awesome, and until next time, much love.